more question. Someone had, I wanted to, someone wrote, asked this question like five, six days ago. We didn't get a chance to address it yet. So we'll address it in a few minutes here. So someone asked, how to do bhakti when we're very sick and even on medication? So like, generally when you're very sick, you become depressed also. You have no energy, especially if you're on medication or you have some like depressants or something like that. Then it's very difficult to do bhakti. So the question is what to do in that case. In such a case, it's, it's not such an easy thing. But the most important thing is, if you really have bhakti, then you, you have this capacity. The mind will always place itself in some kind of object. The mind will always be somewhere. So we try to offer our mind and our consciousness in thoughts of Krishna. That's a whole proce process. Prabhupada started the Society for Krishna Consciousness. So when we're sick, we don't need to have a healthy body to be Krishna conscious. By the body we can serve and the body is favorable. We can go on parikrama, we can chant. But even if we are not strong enough to pick up our japa mala, even if we are not strong enough to chant Hare Krishna, a little bit of time in the day, just try to think about Krishna. And you can gradually increase this. Even if you're very sick, you still have 24 hours of the day. Maybe you're sleeping 12 hours. Maybe you're sleeping 16 hours. Maybe you're sleeping 20 hours. Maybe you have no energy. You're completely miserable. But still you have some time to think about Krishna and that's all you need to do. You just need to develop this gradually. All these other things we're doing are helping us to facilitate remembrance of Krishna or Krishna consciousness. Sastra gives two instructions. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. All the other instructions are described to be like the maid servants of these two instructions. Always remember, never forget. So even if we're very sick, try a little bit of the day to think about Krishna. Okay, I can't think about Krishna, I'm very weak. So then your whole room, put pictures of Krishna. Then you'll be bound to think of him. When you open your eyes, you see Krishna, Seva Kunj, Venu Git, you know, Bhagavad Gita. You can have all these pictures on your wall, then you can see Krishna. It said, out of sight, out of mind. So if you have nothing to remind you of Krishna, you won't think of Krishna. That's why Sadhu Sangha reminds us always of Krishna. Chanting Mahamantra reminds us of Krishna. Being in good association reminds us of Krishna. So even in your room, you can put pictures of Krishna. Even in your room, you can play the tape of Prabhupada or Gurudev speaking Harikata or put on Kirtan. So even if you're sick, you'll be hearing that. There's a verse that's like a very beautiful verse. Gorga Vindamars would quote this, another Vaishnavas, saying, Krishna is so merciful that Generally, Krishna says, there's two things. Krishna says on one hand, yang yang bhavam tam tam bhavita. What you think of at the time of death, you'll get a, a, a body according to that kind of consciousness. This is a general rule. And we see reincarnation follows according to that kind of rule. Bharat Maharaj was always very attached to a deer, so he thought of the deer, he became a deer, right? But for the devotees who have developed bhakti for Krishna, Krishna is so merciful, he says that Oh, if my devotees are very sick, at the time of death, they're not able to chant my names. Mucus is coming in their mouth. Foam is coming out of their mouth. They're in paralysis. Krishna will pick up his devotees. If they have practiced, if they have real devotion, if they're in thoughts of Krishna. Even at the time of death, they cannot think. But still, throughout your life, you've practiced bhakti. Without a doubt, you'll achieve a higher... Mean, when we say you'll get liberation means you'll very rapidly progress towards your spiritual emancipation. You'll go to the spiritual world. So Krishna is that merciful. So if we practice in our life, even when we're sick and we're unable to chant, then Krishna will come and take us. There's a verse in um, Govinda Dhamudara Madhava Stotram. It's a very beautiful verse. Every Kartik we sing this, right? Govinda Dhamudara Madhaveti. So there's a verse that says, When Yamaraj comes, Krite Sangharate, when he comes holding his staff, rod of punishment, at the time of death, O Krishna, let me think of you and chant Govinda Damo Dharma Daveti. There's another beautiful verse. Jive Sadaivam Bajasundarani Namani Krishna Sya Manoharani Samasta Bhaktarti Vinasanani Govinda Damo Dharma Daveti. Krishna is so merciful that Samasta Bhaktarti Vinasanani Krishna destroys all kinds of suffering of his devotees. 
Arati means suffering. So Krishna vanquishes all the sufferings of his devotees. Therefore, he's called Hari. Hari means the thief. He steals away all our suffering. Simply, we must offer our heart to him and develop mamata for him. So even when we are sick, we can have that. If you are sick, you can still have love for your family, your friends. Love doesn't disappear just because you're sick. So whenever you're not sick, develop that love. Or even if you're sick, develop that love for Krishna. Think about Krishna. Meditate upon Krishna. A little bit at the time of the day. And gradually by abhyas, try to increase. Abhyas means practice. So okay, today you set a timer. Okay, five minutes of the day. Even I'm laying in bed. I cannot move. I cannot speak. But I'll think about Krishna. I'll open my eyes and I'll look, about a, look on a picture of Krishna. And next day, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. A little bit at a time, try to remember Krishna. Even though these times come and they're very difficult, by the mercy of Krishna, everything can be crossed over, and especially by the mercy of Guru. There's one more nice verse, Kunti Devi says. Kunti Devi prays, Vipada santutha shasvat tatra tatra jagat guru bhavato darshanam yashyad apunar bhavadarshanam. In the Pandava's life, in the devotees' lives, so many problems come. So we see in the Pandavas especially, they, they were sleeping in the room, and someone came and they made a, their own family members. The Pandava's own family members built a house for them and said, oh, come in, our, in, come in the house we made for you. And they made the house out of a very flam flammable substance called lac. And then when they were sleeping at night, they lit it on fire. And only because someone tipped it off were they able to escape. They tried to poison them. They tried to kill them in so many different ways. There was a huge war. But at the end of it all, at the end of her life, Kunti Devi said, if I had to choose whether I could live a very happy, peaceful life without any problems. Please let the problems come. I don't want to have a happy, peaceful life. If a happy, peaceful life comes to me, I won't think of you. If I don't think of you, I will not cross over this bhava sangsar, this material ocean of birth and death and suffering. So she says, Vipada Shantut, that these problems come again and again. I embrace these. Let them come. And she prays after that, she said, like a river flows to the ocean, may my heart and my love only flow to you, Krishna, giving up all other attachments, all sense of self and family related to the body, giving all this up, let my heart's love and affection only go to you, Krishna. Then we can be saved. Otherwise, we'll continue to circle repeatedly in this cycle of birth and death, inevitably, uh, like in a continuous Stream. Punarapi maranam, punarapi jhananam, punarapi jatane sayanam. Sankaracharya teaches this again and again, dying, again and again, being born. And the Buddhists teach about this. Everyone teaches about this. They teach the negative aspect. They don't teach the positive aspect. The positive aspect is that we can escape this cycle and have a beautiful, loving relationship that is everlasting. Okay, so for anyone who has these kinds of sicknesses, we give our condolence, but we try to remember Krishna anyhow. Radhe Radhe everybody, please subscribe to our channel down there, hit the bell icon for notifications, and if you already subscribed, share with your friends, uh, like, comment, that would be awesome, thanks so much.